So the one day right estate is uh, what happened over the weekend for the UK. Because you may remember when uh, Her Majesty died, uh, this whole country became right wing for all of like a week. And it was pretty good. Nothing went wrong for a week. Yeah. Uh, all these retards who were like, I have a political opinion, so I'm going to shut down the motorway. You know, those guys. My political enemies were punished. Yes, yeah. this is a good thing. But it's it's not even just political enemies. It's it's inane children of a political enemy. Like, I'm okay with someone who's like, oh, I'm going to protest because blah, blah, blah. Maybe they shut down a road or something. Was, yeah, whatever. They just stop oil people after continually shutting down motorways. I mean, just... And then it turns out that they're funded by the children of oil moguls. Yeah, I've just got no sympathy, though. It's just like, okay, your platform's ridiculous. You act like children. You're disrupting everyone's normal lives, shutting down motorways. You're just, you're just pricks. Like, you guys are just <laughs> pricks as well. So I just, I, I feel like, um, I don't know. I, 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 it's definitely the public opinion that the civil rights end once we just find you annoying. That you're not even interesting. You're not even bringing up any interesting points. You're just, just the oil. <laughs> Your rights end where my inconvenience <laughs> begins. Not inconvenience, boredom with the fact that, okay, this is definitely unelectable. No, 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 point, if they're annoying, it. if they're annoying, it slides over into convenience rather, inconvenience rather than boredom. Yeah. Therefore, if you start to annoy me, sorry, you're in the Tower of London. I'm half joking, of course, but the reality is that these uh, protests in the UK have been illegal. The police have had the power to remove them for I don't know, months. And then all of a sudden, uh, well, when the Queen died, and then for the coronation, they disappeared. They started doing it. Yeah, the rest of Pretty the year. Pretty impressive. The rest of the year, the police don't enforce that law against them. They enforce it against us whenever we go to a bad man rally or a Brexit rally. Or, I don't know, there's a football game and they just arrest everyone. Or go outside. <laughs> so, yeah, public order only seems to matter when they don't like you. But for one day a year, when there's something on with the royals, the entire British establishment becomes right wing. Which is something to behold. And uh, I think we're going to enjoy it by taking a look at the day's events over the coronation. So we'll start off just by mentioning something on lotuses.com, that being the politics of the crown. What else am I going to shill for royalty? So go and check that out. It's free. Anyway, moving on. Ooh. We're going to the optics real quick, because good. Good optics. Very nice. Excellent optics. Round of applause. Good good job, establishment. <laughs> you, you, can, you can still do the thing. Which is look nice one day a year. Let's click through it. It reminds you, know, you of the culture that people try and tell us that we don't have. It makes it almost makes it all worth fighting for, lads. As I saw a lot of people tweeting. You have Britannia herself embodied by, you know, the royals. Everybody loves Kate. Uh, Kate, I saw so many simping over her. But I also love the kid behind with the little tiara. I mean, it really is about the tiaras. It's just mm -hmm. beautiful. All right, moving forward. Here's the next one. There you are. Penny Mordant looking Even good. Even Penny Mordant managed to make herself look acceptable. I still don't get the Penny Mordant simping, but I no. know that plenty do. Soulless, disgusting, Blairite politician who pretends they're conservative but, any other day of the week. But... <laughs> give her a sword in this, and she looks presentable. Yeah, it's amazing what optics can do to someone. Let's go to the next one here as well. We have, um, you know, just, just just swag. Um, It's pretty great. Else. The last one here as well. It's just the carriage. Everything looking great. Good day. Pretty pictures. Anyway, there's also some other nice stuff to remind ourselves about why it's all worth fighting for, such as King Charles here, swearing on a Bible. He uh, declares to defend the Protestant faith and also uphold the Protestant lineage of the crown, which, of course, is in direct contradiction to um, Prince Charles's statements that he wanted to be the defender of all faiths and upholding diversity and inclusion. I guess when and... push came to shove, he just decided that, yes, I am a racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's almost like there's, you know, quite a lot of you know, civil war and fighting that we did for the whole Protestant thing. And it wasn't kind of it wasn't so that Muslims could come in and have their way with our daughters. Or even worth Catholics. Oh so let's go to the last thing here, which is the crowning, which, you know, very cool. And I'm not gonna rehash the whole coronation, you can go and watch it. And it's in HD. And it doesn't have me talking over it. So there you are, if you want to watch that. Why well, yeah, we're here for Although some of the coverage <laughs> does have far worse people talking over it, which I'm sure we'll get to. Yeah, it does. But we're going to be here instead for a moment which I imagine was going through King Charles's head as he pondered for his orb. Sat there orb pondering, as a good man should. Can I thought he was pondering? considering the... Uh, he, is, <laughs> he is pondering his orb, yes. I saw some others considering that this might have been his holy hand grenade. I, I love the Worms game. I miss it. <laughs> Do you ever have it on like one of those old 90 PCs that's probably used to play? I've still got it on my PS4. Really? Yeah, yeah. You can get all sorts uh, yeah, of, of course, different really versions of it. I rem The ones I was introduced to were the... Uh, 3D ones on the PlayStation 2, which is very strange to go and play a 3D Worms game. But regardless of that, there's also the Grim Reaper who made an attendance, which was uh, quite nice. Oh yeah, I saw that. 
Uh, a lot of Americans were shocked to be like, oh, the Grim Reapers appeared. Ah, it's, it's silly Americans, don't you know? It's a tradition going back to 1247 that the Grim Reaper appears at every coronation of the new king. Uh, no, I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> it's just creepy man in the background there. Some Freemasonry going on, just yeah. casually. I don't know if it's the Black Rod or something, but whatever. The last thing to mention is there was some good fantasy posting about what might happen as soon as he becomes king. Oh, yes. You know, declares war on brutalist architecture. And Ooh, the big man. And planes begin bombing homes. Oh, no. <laughs> For My Dino new build, no. Death to new builds. Download World of Tanks and you can get a new build destruction machine <laughs> as well as 2,000 balloons. Barretts is going under, boys. Yeah, but nothing beats leftist fantasy poaching, which was on another level. You know, the kind of people that look at this and think there's nothing wrong. Oh, this, yeah. This is real life. This is a... this. It, th uh, there's nothing to be said. No, there's nothing to be... For people listening, we're looking at a photo... Not a photo, a painting of Richard III, and then a photo of the movie or TV series Who Gives a Crap of Richard III. Where, PBS. Um, is that even a black guy? Is that a black woman? I think that is a black woman. Playing Richard III. There we are. Great. Thanks, 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 America. And uh, for the, for the, once again, for those not, not watching and instead listening, Richard III, according to this painting, was somewhat of a very pasty man. He's, he's, um... Very pale. More, more Arab than black, I would, I would have a so, guess. Yeah, he was spending too much time indoors playing World of Warcraft to get any of that sunlight. Yeah. But we'll go to the Labour Party, because... Actually, um, Crusader Kings is probably his thing. I think we're going to get worse and worse as time goes on with uh, the responses, because the Labour Party decided to um, put on the mask. Uh, I'm a royalist now. Uh, and put this out, of course, God Save the King, some crappy you know, image with some graphics on it, not, nothing too interesting. What was interesting is the response from their own followers. And the immediate one I can see there from anti-capitalist. Yeah. What, what did you think Twitter leftist's opinion on this post was? Should we give it a scroll? You don't You don't need to consider what Twitter leftist opinion is. They don't think of their own opinions. No, they don't. You have anti-capitalists there going, embarrassing. You are witnessing to what is being done in the name of the ruling class against the working... Oh, shut up. You I don't know. J Joe here's got the right yeah. idea, just calling them out on their obvious BS. If only you meant it. Your leader wants to abolish the monarchy. Yeah, wasn't he literally an anarcho-communist in his youth? What, Starmer. Starmer? Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked. Like, there's, a, there's a video of him talking about it where he used to be like... Yeah, we'll just get rid of the whole state and then everything I mean, be weren't, weren't they all some variation of communist or Marxist? Just actual retards. Anti-capitalist yeah. is still going on. Well, we'll keep scrolling just because I, I want to demonstrate that um, they, 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 they didn't go down well with their own followers, of course, because they're unbearable, all of them. And fake. In the sense of, oh, yes, we, we are for monarchy now. Just because you know it's actually popular. Well, no, even... no, stay with your unpopular Twitter leftists. That is where you belong. Even the... Even their own voter base concede see through it yeah. easily any day we'll get to the next one because of course there were some other people who had to turn up and be like oh my god is that Ukraine is, that, is, is it Ukraine in the, in, the, in the floor there I saw Ukraine there is that stop no it's not it's, th those just... turns out there are other countries in the world than Ukraine what I know it's been a shock after that. <laughs> I don't know we, we go over this a lot but it's, it's nothing against Ukraine but it's, it's Westerners who won't shut up about Ukraine to the point where you know I was watching the Pi conference, and if you go watch the video I made about that, um, they mentioned it at least a billion times in, in speeches that weren't even about the country. Oh, I remember. You, you put me through that. Yeah, and, and you have here, of course, there's, um, for people who didn't know, go and check out my video about the politics of the crown. I think I mentioned it in there. I'm not sure if I did. There's uh, carpet rules in the UK. Very strict carpet rules. Did I tell you about the carpet rules? I don't remember you telling me about the carpet rules. It, it, it'll enlighten me. So if you go to Parliament and... Um, you're an interesting fellow, you might spend the entire time staring at the carpet like I did, which uh, is actually more useful than you think, because in the House of Commons, there's green carpet for the plebs. And it's not just nice carpet, nice colour. Um, the, the king or queen cannot come there if there is green carpet. Oh, really? Yeah, you're not allowed to tread on it. Which is why when you go to the House of Lords, they have red carpet, which is for the lords, and uh, same, same rule. And when the king or queen goes to open parliament or give a speech or whatever the hell else... You may have noticed the carpet changes colour in the House of Lords, where they sit, to blue, which is to symbolise, like, yes, you're allowed in. Oh, all right. So is this what they, where the whole idea it's, of the rolling out the carpet It's comes the from. royal carpet for the, mm. the English monarchy. And then you have the gold there, of course, for the place of the coronation, because it is literally magic, uh, according to our law, which it is. I know? don't know. I do get the sudden urge to send a lot of money overseas looking at this image. Nah, it, it's not that. But anyway. <laughs> it's not Ukraine, no. No, funnily enough. But we also have local communist who is very upset that people are being arrested. 
that's not real communism, said Ash Sarkov, because uh, uh, I can't even bring myself to even pretend to be interested. No, real communism is when the police are doing what we want them to do. Yeah, this was the news. Bunch of uh, Republicans, death Republicans. Uh, side note, just my opinion. That's joke, YouTube, I swear. Anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> Republicans to lend the S. Yeah. Anyway, Ash Sarkov here is upset because they turned up with a truck full of placards for who? I mean, I kind of hate just any political movement that has trucks full of placards. Like, the stand-up to racism guys are the only other guys I can think of in this country that do that. you got any right-wing protest, there's no truck full of placards being handed out to folks. People well, bring their own placards, if they want placards. That's because on the right-wing, we don't have big, big, big money on our side to professionally yeah. print all of these placards. I mean, they've even got them wrapped in plastic. Just to make sure they're all safe. Just so all they're right. all nice and clean. I'm shocked that there's no Socialist Worker Party logos on any of them. So these people were obviously detained for organising an, an organised protest um, on the coronation. Again, one, one day rightist state in which they go, none of that. <laughs> And clank down on that. And you guys literally get your way every other day of the year. And then they're shocked. They're shocked on the one day of the year they're not allowed to. That they they get told off for it. There was another plot as well in which a bunch of people were going to bring rape alarms and then like annoy the horses. Like That's cause, a bad idea. Cause the horses to go wild by playing rape alarms next to horses. And then and what stampede and kill people, presumably. It's a good, it was a good plan. Um, if, if you want to kill a lot of people. If you're a lunatic. Um, so, of course, the police were like, yeah, no, you're not doing that. That's that's public nuisance. And, um, yeah, actually correct implementation of the law there because, you know, threat to life. Uh, I mean, there's <laughs> In a, case you got away with that. There's a nice reminder that comes with this, that if people actually just had the will to do so, that this country could just run itself quite nicely still. Yeah, there's, there's nothing stopping it. If you go to the next one here, Julia Hartley Brewer causing, uh, pointing this out, which is, of course, the you know pro-democracy and blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't exist in England. It exists for one group of people some of the time. And then the one day a year, the government just steps in and goes, no, no, you can't do that now because, you know, we're doing a royal event. Grow up. Stop being five years old and gluing yourself to the, the pavement and then sniffing glue, presumably, you goddamn sub-IQ more. I hate these people so much. I'm sorry. But I cannot no, stand I, it. I... Just stop oil people. Not to mention, you can see there as well, the George Floyd protest where the police knelt down in front of them, joining the protesters. Mm -hmm. I mean, just uh, illegal for one. From the police, but who cares? Anyway, one day a year, you get this instead, where they just arrest troublemakers. <sighs> anyway, moving on, because now we have the stupids. The stupids came out. <laughs> African over here, verified checkmark. No idea who he is, literally who cares. Comes out with Africa's stolen wealth on display, hashtag gold mafia, hashtag coronation. And a nice community so, note, which will be relevant in the next one. Yeah. In the next segment. We'll just quickly read the fact that apparently the uh, carriage was built by Jim Frecklington. Frecklington. I've ruined that. <laughs> who was a royal household employee <laughs> in Australia in 2010. See you now. So, so this has nothing to do with Africa. It wasn't built there. It wasn't funded for it. And it has yeah. nothing. It was, it's over. It's in the next century following. Almost like the Decolonization. <laughs> <laughs> also had nothing you just you stop stop being a pan-african it's cringe and, and wrong on every level you're very bad at it yeah we'll get the next one here as well because of course um some people had to sniff more glue than others dr charlotte proudman now i'm not entirely unconvinced that this isn't a titania mcgrath account at this point have we checked if the picture is ai generated it seems to be real but who can tell these days so i mean i've never met are her. women real i don't know Yet Neither to be do proved. I. Yet to be proved. Anyway, <laughs> we have here. I'll quote, ask my fiance later. Are you real? What a beautiful photograph of white male privilege and entitlement sums up who rules our country. Uh, Glorious, isn't it? I just stop it. Get some help. Just, I, I, there isn't much to say about these these people. Everyone else was watching the coronation. Oh wait, wait, wait. What I, was like actually, what, what's that? What's that I just spotted from John down there? If we scroll down a little bit, so it's white it's boy white summer. boy summer then. It's gonna be a hell of a summer, boys. But it's the it's the case that the culture of the day when it's going on. In case you're a foreigner and you think like this dominates the headlines, it's like literally like all these people sit on Twitter when no one else is because everyone else is watching the coronation. So they all just circle jerk about how they hate the monarchy, and then everyone else logs back on and just like, oh, that was beautiful, love that lads, <laughs> and then they just get completely drowned out. But it's uh, it's it's amazing to see that these people continue to do this publicly when it is so unpopular 
and obviously wrong. It, it's funny they always try and do, uh, do it from the perspective of, I'm speaking from the working class, and then the working class come and they're like, love me king, yeah. love me crown, love me ceremony. Didn't she look beautiful? Yeah. Uh, we'll go to the next one here, because uh, she did read hard posting all day, as you can see here. The only person of colour in the royal family isn't present, because blah, 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 kill yourself. What is wrong with you? Are you, just... <laughs> you can also generate these tweets, I swear. I'm joking there, YouTube, but for the, but the purposes of comedy of like, what are you actually doing with your life? You're sitting there whining about the race of the royal family being white. As if, I don't know, they shouldn't be? Like, all of a sudden, they should have grown up after George Floyd and put some blackface on before they went out on the balcony here? That'd be pretty based. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that, Charles, and now we apply the ceremonial shoe polish. You know what's actually quite sad is is the art of blackface, and I mean this, I'll get to what I quite mean in a minute. All right, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I think the statement stands alone, okay? So if you watch, like, Lawrence of Arabia... The, the movie. Yeah. And the, the, the king of the, the the Arabs. Like, he's obviously a white guy and basically blackface. And, uh, well, Arab face. And it's really well done. Like, so well done. It, it's, it's what is it? Robbie Downey Jr. in, in Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't even realize it was him until the end of the movie. Till the end when he <laughs> rips his face off and it's Robert Downey Jr. No, I was like, oh, I thought it was a black actor. I, I, I didn't notice. Yeah, it's really well done. Uh, that, that, that art has been completely lost with the, the demonization of, um, makeup in the wrong way so uh can't even do it well if you wanted to charlotte so there you are moving forward we'll go to her next retard post which was spot the difference isn't this just like north korea i just 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 stop i mean again community noted but do you really need to be community noted no i feel I, like most people can tell the difference you think so how many like a did this one get because i noticed she actually got I mean, she retard posted all day. There we go, 2,000. Okay. Almost 3,000 people to be barred from voting. <laughs> You'd think you would have learned, though. Like, this is the middle of her retard day post fesh, and she's still retard posting now, I think. <laughs> and just... Well, what, what, what do we expect her to do? She's a retard, and someone gave her a phone <laughs> and a Twitter account. Yeah. Obviously, that's what she's going to do. So, so, yeah, you, you make a fair point, my friend. <laughs> anyway, we'll go forward. Her Royal Highness, Dr. Schola, came out with more crap about race. I'm not even going to read it. I'm not even going to dignify it. Because, I mean, the previous example, let's assume she's real, because I'm not entirely convinced she's not Tatini McGrath's new account. The retard posting there at least felt sincere. Uh, Dr. Shola, I think, is just out of a job at this point. <laughs> Whenever anything happens to do with the Royal, she makes on, 50 posts about it. Yeah, on, on Saturday, she wasn't getting paid by the hour, so she mm. had to do something to fill her time. Just looking for attention, so I'm um, going to ignore, because I mean, if you're so pathetic. upset about our royal family... Doesn't she come from a royal family? Yeah, indeed. Her royal highness over here. D complaining about our royal family. Okay, okay, go back to your own. The Nigerian royal family, unbearably black. Go stand on a balcony at your palace. You would never say that. But you'd sit here and whine about her. Oh, no, it's white. Oh, cringe. Leaving on. Go to the next one. Let's let's enjoy some other retards. I, I, just, I just thought we'd... <sighs> this is what, this oh, this is what passes for on-screen talent in mainstream TV in the UK. People like this. Talent? I'm sorry. I, yeah, I mean, talent's a bit of a... Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, you know, um, paid retard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this term because I don't know it's what else to are. call these people. I mean, it just genuinely is. I mean, you have her here. I'm sorry, how can anyone watch this and not think it's over the top? It's beyond me. Because it's glorious, it's beautiful, it's traditional, it's, it's almost, ceremonial. It's almost like you live in a fucking kingdom. The king <laughs> is, is the remember. highest she, office. She's just as British as you and I, my but, friend. I, I mean, I do find it amazing when everyone's like, yeah, the United Kingdom, I'm from the UK, I'm from the UK, but what is, what do you, hang on, what, K stands for kingdom? I'm just as British as you are, now let me denigrate all of your time-honoured traditions and yeah. culture. Sad, exclamation point. But it's not the only one, we also had um, some writer, I, I can't remember, I think he used to watch some of the stuff he made, but these days, what's he doing? Instead, pointing out white privilege, because the royal family is white. I, I know, basically everyone who's white in England is royal family members, aren't they? I mean, didn't you get your letter in the post? I, I've started pointing up my nose and blinking my eyes as I talk to people so I can feel snootier <laughs> because I'm also now a member of the royal family. <laughs> no, it's, it's just sad. Just sad. He deleted this one because um, people started pointing out his last name. Decisive Anglo victory. In a very Always uh, good to see. derogatory manner. But we'll go to the next one here because the, the thing that took the cake was, here you are, oh. live. I, was, I think this is the BBC. Yeah, here's the BBC. They have um, local race beta on to sit there. Uh, uh, is this ITV? Oh, there we are. Uh, just to have someone on to talk about the terribly white balcony. Isn't is she's a she's an actress in Bridgerton, I think, as well. She played Martha Jones's mum in Doctor Who, I believe. Oh bloody hell, she did. Yeah. You're right. I, yeah. I, and I actually quite like Martha Jones and her family in 
in that series that they showed really? up in. I think Martha Jones's mum was kind of an asshole in the whole whole. Uh, I'm kind of lumping the whole family together with Martha, who I liked as a companion. Ah, okay. But you are probably right. It's been a while since I've gone back and really watched that series. Well, do, you know, but... do you know what I remember at the end? Like, Martha Jones's mum basically tries to get Martha and the Doctor arrested. And, and Oh, yes, I remember. She sells them out to the Master, doesn't she? Yeah. Anyway, go and watch Doctor Who. And for you uh, guys... Don't watch anything past about 2010. Yeah, give, give up on that. David Tennant leaves, you should leave. Anyway, but she decided to do that. I want to just look at the faces as well. As you can see, the people next to her are just like, what's wrong with you? It's only it's terribly only white balcony. I think other people, ner- I've seen the clip. Other people nervously laughed along, but she could not hold her disgust. That's that's a repugnance in that face right there. It's like she just let one off. Actually, something wrong with you that you would sit there on on national television, in the one day when it becomes a rightist state, and sit there and be like, it's white. Leave then. Don't have to be here. If, and so, if- it says it with the smuggest look on her face as well. Uh, we have the last one here from uh, someone talking about this. They say, today on BBC Hard Talk, is it time to stop white people from standing <laughs> on balconies? Should we inject melanin into the royal youngsters? And how exactly, how terrible is it for the white family to get together in a place at any given moment in time? Hard questions for BBC Hard Talk. Anyway. I know whenever I get together with my family, we, we pay a little in reparations. <laughs> it's Just like a little tax. Get a little... Uh, you know, a single tear when I'm at the dinner table rolls down my eye, just so everybody knows that get, I feel bad about get it. Get the Royal Marine uh, camouflage painting out. and uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll get the last one here because she did actually have to apologise for this because, you know, we live for one day in a right estate. Oh, my Lord. couldn't get away with that. Um, she's on some BBC, I think it's radio interview, where she says, well, a lot of people actually got upset with that, so I'm sorry about that. And then the interviewer interrupts to go, nobody was upset about it. And she goes, oh, thank you very much. He's like, no, they were. Media it's, class it's protecting like, its own. Yeah, well, it's another day in the left. We'll end this off with the fact that tribesmen, nude tribesmen, are actually way better people than modern leftists. Hey. And that's the reason I showed you all that. Well, they, they understand better than modern leftists why you would want to look at something like that and go, wow, that's special. My tradition, important. But you know there's a guy, uh, what is it, Cosmic, Cosmic, Cosmic Skeptic? Is that the right channel? Uh, who? There was, there was a guy, I'll have to find the, the clip and show you at some other time, but he sits there, I've been watching a lot of his shorts, and he's been through the university system for so long now, whenever he argues, he's like, I did, a, I did a study of theology, I read Thomas Aquinas and blah blah blah, and yet I am yet to find anything magical about religion. And I just watch it, even as an atheist, cringing, thinking, oh god, go to a war zone. Yep. Just, just stop being at university and trying to be like, but it doesn't make a reasonable sense. And it's like, yeah, that's what tradition I didn't is. read it in a book somewhere. You have no idea what the magic is of tradition until you actually go and experience it and create it. And you're not going to do that sitting there reading your book. Anyway, we'll end this off with someone who is actually as popular as Kim Jong-un, going back to that North Korean <laughs> reference from earlier, because I just have to mention this and I don't want to get lost in the weeds. Is Election Maps UK reporting that a local independent running in... Flegbe <laughs> got 94.6% of the vote, up 10%, so previously you got 80% of the vote. For our American viewers, this is how great some of the place names in England are, which is it, within the area of Great Yarmouth is Flegbe. <laughs> Flegbe. 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 I love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Should we check out this local hero? Uh, literally, village hero, as he is uh, recorded by the locals. And note, his, his almost 95% share of the vote was up 10% from last time as well. So uh, he's actually increased. He must have done an excellent job recently. So just to end this off, I mean, uh, King Charles not the most popular royal in recent times, that's for sure. Uh, so we'll end it off with someone far more popular, which is um, the new supreme leader of Flegberg and his story. <laughs> This is the council meeting. He's just a... He's a... He's so well known in life. He loves us all. Anyway, that was the coronation and the and the people who need to just stop. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content that's on the site, such as the Contemplation series, this episode on the Mouse Utopia Experiment. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.